Dr. Pastor Paul and Lady Ford one more time. Thank God for each and every one. Uh, we get ready to go right, in, right into our lesson. Um, ask Deke if he can open us up with prayer to start with. Can everybody hear me? Yeah, I had to take it off me. Lord, as we come before your throne tonight, oh God, on our Bible study tonight, oh God. Lord, we just want to give honor to you today, today oh God. Want to give honor to our, our pastor and first lady and pastor Ford and evangelist and everybody that's on Zoom tonight, oh God. Lord, we just want to thank you for taking us. Thank you for the day, oh God. Thank you for taking us through the day, keeping us from harm and danger. Thank you for keeping our family, oh God. Lord, I just thank you for all your blessing and everything you have done for each and one of us on this planet, oh God. You've been good to each and one of us, oh God. Even the unsaved, you've been good to them because some woke up this morning. You've been good to them. And you've been good to us, oh God. Continue looking up on Sister Tiffany and, and Pappy now as they lost a loved one, oh God. Lord, just comfort as they lost a friend, Lord. Just comfort them. Keep them, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Keep them as they on their way home or wherever on way from work or wherever they just keep them, oh God. Comfort them as they go through the night, grieving over a, a friend, oh God. But Lord, you are a friend. We should be crying over for you because yes. you've been too good to us, oh God. And Lord, I thank you. Thank you for your blessing. As we go into your word tonight, give us open up our, our understanding. Give us the understanding of your word, oh God. We need your word. We need your help, oh God. We need your, we need your, your help every day and every, every hour, oh God. Continue looking up on the ones that first responders that's out there fighting the fire, Lord. Lord, I don't want to forget forget about forget about them, cause Lord, they got loved ones at home they need to turn to, oh God. Keep them, oh God. Keep them from harm and dangers, oh God. Continue looking up on the ones that's in the union care tonight in the hospital, the police, and just not them, the other people that's in ICU tonight, oh God. Touch them, oh God. Bring them out, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, you bless us and give us open ears to your word tonight. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Dee. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Glory to God. Our scripture is coming out of Isaiah, 40th chapter, starting at the 28th verse. It says, Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary, there is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Glory to God. May the Lord have a blessed reading here of this word. Isaiah, the 40th chapter, verses 28 through 31. Again, we thank God for allowing us to come together one more time. Glory to God. Again, we just thank God for, for another opportunity for another Bible class. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to share my screen. And we're going to go right into our lesson. Let's see. From the Again, yes. Lady, Lady P. Yes. Before Pastor gets started, uh, that this is what you should show them when you when you do the um the, before you send them all three of them tapings. Mm -hmm. You should show them this. The bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> I can send the blooper soon to Pastor Michael. <laughs> Let him pick one. <laughs> mm. He's welcome to pick one. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Glory to I'm gonna God. have to get the blooper right on the on the on the in the front of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Praise God. Glory to God. Well, we, again, we thank we thank God. Thank God one more time. Let me increase my volume here before we get started. That's all the way up. Glory to God. Again, we thank God. And we are, we are as we know, we've been studying uh, reckon, recognizing the tactics of the enemy. And this is so, uh, so crucial because I, 
even though we so a lot of us you know some look we can save for from one year to 40 50 years but we still want to be able to recognize the tactics of the enemy and um and, and this and this because we don't want to find ourselves get complacent or get to a point where we figure well, I, I got this and i know this and that's when that's when um, the enemy would try to strike any any kind of time because just when when you start feeling that you you know that oh, I'm okay you know I'm, I'm all right I got this you know and that's when he would try to and, and even when I, as we put on the all the whole armor as we have the whole armor of God on us and any little crease in our in our in our weaponry any little crease yeah, you better believe he would try to hit just for that little crease. And so, so again, we are recognizing the tactics of the enemy because we know we, uh, he's not playing. He's like, you know, he's, he's, he wants to, he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And my God, he doesn't care how he does it. The bottom line, he just wants to destroy. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, so again, we thank God for allowing us to be able to go through uh, the lessons we took. We started uh, a little while back, but at, uh, I know last week we were talking about for us our about temperance, which is self-control. And like I said, we're gonna touch on that a little bit and keep on going. But but this is this is what if and I and I love this this actual picture if you're looking at it right now, it shows a chess game. And 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 what a what what perfect picture, you know, because as we know, like you know, uh first Peter five eight says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walking about, seeking whom he may devour. And so here it is, you know, so here it is when you look at the chest, you know, when you make a move, he's trying to heal you know, and he, and you know I, I'm not a person who play a lot of chess, but once I've heard who do play it, I know that you have to think so far down the road. So to be able to know which, which your next move, you have to know it in advance before you even get to a certain point. And so you better, and so thank God, God is, you know, he, you know the Lord, he, the eyes of the Lord goes to and fro throughout this whole world to show, his, show himself strong on behalf of the ones who are just perfect toward him. Thank God he sees all and everything. Glory to God. So even as an enemy, as a chess game, even as he tries to move, but God already see it. Glory to God. He already know where he's going to move before he even moves. Glory to God. So, and tactics. Um, we talked about the uh, attack. The attack is a system or detail of tactics. It's a plan, a procedure, a uh, method for promoting the desire and or result. Uh, it's, it's the art and it's a science and art of disposing and maneuvering forces. You know how in the army how they maneuver because they have the tactics to be able to maneuver to to get to where they want to be in place. And so again, we talked about again, like I say, we have an enemy that's you know, like I say, that goes about as a roaring lion, walking about seeking whom he may devour. So again, he has tactics and he don't care how he. How he devours, he doesn't care how he does it. The bottom line is, he just wants to. Take his time, he just, he just want to. Basically, bottom line, he just want to take you out. That's it. That's it. So. Uh, we are. We, we already talked. We had. We, uh, we started. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, now. Can you hear me? We can hear you, but you sound like a, a robot going in and out. Mm. Okay, let me switch sounds and then see if that'll be better. Mute yours and then come on. Okay, I put him on my sound and you let me know if that's a better. Is that is that is that better at all? Is that better? Okay. That's better. Great, great. Okay, we talked about for us, uh, for, um, uh, um, for us, First John two, verse two fifteen through seventeen. For us, love not the worthy of the things that are in it. World, it says, many men love the world, love not the father. The love of the father is not in him. And it tells us what's all in the world. We already talked about this, and since all that's in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the father, but of the world. And it says, the world pass away and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God will abide forever. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we've been through that 
that's that particular, we talked about that like, uh, a couple of weeks ago. And it says, we talked about lust for us, you know, here it is, it says, we talked about the definition of lust. Lust is defined as a strong desire for something or someone. We spent some time on it last time. We, we have told one of us, okay, you find yourself and you're looking at somebody here, okay, your head start turning too far. All right, now you didn't win. You didn't, and, and, matter of fact, you walk into the next scripture. It says, Matthew 5, 27 through 28, said, ye have heard that it was said by them of old time that I shall not commit adultery. But I say unto you that whoever looking on a woman to lust after her have committed adultery with her already in his heart. And one thing is that you know, uh, we know we know that the, in the children of Israel, there's not only is there a natural adultery, but there's spiritual adultery as well. And as we know, they how they would how they would uh, for us with different other gods, how they left the left the Lord to go to different other gods when they when they of course when they were with the Lord, but they would turn around and be going, sharing, sharing their bed or, or sharing their body with someone else. So here it is, they were, not only was it a natural adultery, but it was spiritual adultery as well. And so, um, but, but again, it's, but I, well, one thing we want to look at here too is that where at the end it says that uh, when the, they say, whoever look on a woman to lust after her commit, have committed adultery with her already in his heart. And that's what we're going to see where the world, so a lot, a lot of times we look at things as external, you know, for us, oh, okay, I don't, we don't, I don't go, because I'm okay because I don't go to this, the clubs here. I'm okay because I don't visit this, this particular place. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't hang with this group of people, but what's in our heart? And that's where, because that's, because out of the heart flows the issues of life. And so what's in the heart is going to come out. And so, if, if so, that's why. That's why it was even saying here that that whosoever look on a woman to lust after her have committed adultery with her already in their in his heart. So, so our heart, you know, it comes. You know, so a lot of times you say, "Oh, okay, I don't go here in the world. I don't do this." But what's happening in in the heart? And so, so again, we're just going to go through some of these because we already talked about it. And it says attitudes of the worldliness that begins in the heart. Just what we talk about, the lust of the flesh being pre This is talking about the lust of the flesh is being preoccupied with gratifying physical desires. The lust of the eyes, you know, the cravings and accumulating things. So you want more of it. We're gonna, and, and we'll see as we go along, because we already talked about it. Pride of life, we talked about that obsession with one's status or importance. So, and, uh, and, the first two are things that you pretty much are trying to grab. Uh, and pride of life, a lot of times, you're talking about obsessed with oneself. You already have things, and then here it is, but, but as you obsess with those things, and so as we know, pride, pride is nothing good about pride. Glory to God. As we know, it leads to destruction. Glory to God. And we're going to continue to keep going. It says this, these same temptations were used on Eve, in the garden, and Jesus, when he was tempted in the wilderness, we talked about all this. We noticed the enemy used the same plan, same temptations, but in different methods to Eve and Jesus. We talked about last time too that the enemy has he has a specific, a, 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 a certain, a, 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 a plan or a, a, a certain way each and every one that's you know just to try to get you. So, so, so it's not like it, it's, it's, it's created just for you to try to, because he knows that, okay, I don't like this. I don't like that. But he knows that you probably like this. And so he'll come at you that way. Just like we're going to see how, how he came at Eve and he came at Jesus. And that's the whole part of this, part of this beginning of this lesson is to be able to see how did he affect, how did he come to Eve and then how did he come to, to Jesus? And we're going to see for us, as I said, to see what it, these, out of these two, what can help us to be able to recognize the tactics of the enemy. And so, that, so that's, what, that's what this lesson, like I say, to start off, that's what we are concerned about for us. What did Jesus do? You know, a lot of times you say, you, you say, what did, you know, what, what did Jesus do? You know, and that's, that's what we're, we're very concerned to see what Jesus done. Because, that's, because everything that he done was right. And, and we know that if the enemy came to him and, and, and tempted him, who are we? Glory to God. My God, if he's going to tempt Jesus and, and you know, the Lord himself, 
So we are, we are just nobody. And the Bible says in Genesis 3, 6, and this is, it says, when the woman saw that the tree was good, we're talking about the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life. He came to one of these three different areas. And we already talked about this for us in, Eve, in Eve's case, when a woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and the tree to be desired to make one wise. She took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her. And he did eat, glory to God. And all those three, uh, for, uh, like I say, tempt all those three are temptations are in there. Lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. And then it, when, one of the things when I was looking at, at, I was researching, it says Eve not only looked, she took. She not only took, but she ate. And then she gave. And that is, of course, and we have to realize is that, you know, even ourselves. So as temptation, again, it, sin doesn't care where it's, it starts here and it wants to spread. And so yes, she, Eve looked, she looked at it, she took it, she ate it, then who it, she gave it to her husband. So it's like, so, that, so again, sin doesn't stop just right there. The bottom line, sin brings, it, once it's conceived, it brings on death. That's, there's nothing good about it once it's conceived. So, so here it is, you know, for, so again, that's why we were looking at, like, again, the lesson, just to, like I say, looking at what, how did how the enemy come to Eve, how did he affect Eve, what method of, uh, how, uh, uh, that he come to Eve, uh, uh, and he, we see that it's all three areas of temptations that he came to her. And so it can be one, two, three, he, like in her case, it's all three. But the bottom line is, is again, he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And again, he doesn't care how he does it. So we talked about this, so we're going to move on. Now we want to, we want to get into, we want to see what Jesus' temptation and remedy was. And because, because we thank God for what Eve, thank God for the word of God. Because without Eve's being, being in the, the Bible, we sometimes will find ourselves saying, okay, I see what Jesus did. And a lot of people say, well, Jesus was, he was God. And he, and you know, he was, you know, it's, uh, yeah, he's not going to make no mistakes. So I thank God that, you know, that, that the Lord, he was so awesome. That's why, because they couldn't find nobody else to come and he had to come himself. And I thank God that he came himself because he was the perfect example and that's why he went that's why he and he was all man and all god all at the same time that's what's so awesome about it he came to he came as a man to show us that i bleed and i i, I feel pain and i hurt glory to god cry and yet i'm all god glory to god so he so he felt those our, our infirmities he felt everything that we felt glory to god and at the same time but he was yet all god so that's why we thank God for, for dying for our sins. He wasn't somebody that just talked about it. And that's what, that's what we're going to see here in our lesson. He wasn't somebody that just said, you know, he wasn't a person that just pointed a finger and said, I want you to do this and you do that. No, he, he looked and he couldn't find. He came himself. Mm -hmm. And he would do it himself. Glory to God. That's what I love about it. Glory to God. If he got to get a job finished, he would finish it. Glory to God. It says, then was Jesus. Jesus led up of the spirit. This is out of Matthew 4, 1 through 4. We all know a lot of times about this, about the, about the, the story, but we want to go through it. It says, then was Jesus led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. You're talking about the Lord Jesus himself. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was, all, he was after us a hungry. And when the tempter came to him, he said, if thou be the son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, by the every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. We see here also, this verse, this verse is actually goes through one, like one through 11. We just have one through four on this particular, on this slide. But what for us, but the enemy came to Jesus three different times. And each time Jesus had to let him know, it is written. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. So we're going to see that with what Jesus did. But I, at the same time, I want to just look at for us as, at, but the first part of the verse, it says, and when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was after hungry. Jesus was not only hungry, 
but he was weak, possibly tired. But you gotta remember, he was all man, glory to God, and, that, and all God at the same time. So hungry, he had fasted 40 days, so, so the enemy knew that here he is, the tempter comes, and he's and less of the flesh and less of the eyes and the pride of life. And, but, you know, even this is Jesus, but he doesn't care that it's Jesus. And so here he is, Jesus was not only hungry, but weak, possibly tired, and at a vulnerable stage in life. So you better believe if he come to Jesus at his weakest part, and his, who are we? Glory to God. That's why after we didn't fast and pray, glory to God. You think he will not try to come to us? That's why we find ourselves when we do fast and we pray and we go to work and all of a sudden all kind of mess is, 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 is starting out, coming up and this is happening. And it's like, wait a minute, yesterday didn't do nothing. But the day you're fasting and you're praying and so all of a sudden now the enemy starts doing, what is he trying to do? He wants to First of all, you know, break your fast, get your break your commitment, break get you off of it. Hallelujah! And and, and he and we know the bottom line. We already said the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. So those are that's that's a that the bottom line. But anyway, he wants to. If you start to fast, pray. He wants to break that. He wants to show you like, oh, you you think you're all that. But so, but again, if he affects the uh, uh, the Lord Jesus Himself, who are we? Notice when the enemy comes at your weakest or even at your strongest there's sometimes that's that pride like like for us that you know different like even Nebuchadnezzar and King Azar you know it was and you know, when you all lifted and when you at, at your when you got too much pride and you all lifted up he can come at that point too to help have you thinking that yeah you all that in the bag of chips and take you out on that end so not only can you be at your weakest but with pride all built up you can be at you be at you up here and then turn around either way, or he tries to take you out on either way. But but the tempter, it says, he, he came to him, he said, now this is what God made. <laughs> the enemy, it says, uh, he, he said, he came to him and said, if die, if die, be the son of God. You think right there, Jesus don't know who he is? He comes to uh, it, it, try to see, to, to, do you know who you are? He attacks your identity to try to see, do you, know, you know who you are? Jesus let him, know, let, let him know who he is. But he yet still, even though he knows he's the son of God, but does Jesus know he's the son of God? So he, so he allows us to see he will affect our identity. We have to know who we are in God. We have to know that we are sons of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We have to know that God, that Jesus has died for our sins. We have to know that he raised us up. Just like Jesus rose, he rose us up. Hallelujah. You have to know that when, when we went down in the water and we baptized in the name of Jesus and then, he, and then filled with the gifts of the Holy Ghost. We have to know who we are in God. And if we don't know who we are, this is exactly, so it was affecting his identity. It, my God, he said, if thy be the son of God, command that these stones be made bread. Glory to God. My, my God, less of the flesh. I'm sorry, we have a, we have a, we have a comment there. Evangelist. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Evangelist. Praise the Lord. Um, I believe earlier, in the earlier thing when you were starting up, uh, I believe you 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 read a, you you had a scripture talking about sober minded. Yes, yes, yes. And when you now, as you're talking about sober mind, when you were talking about sober minded, and you're when you're talking about the um, tactics of the enemy, and and even he, when Jesus was in the the uh, the, the desert, and he was in the he was out. Excuse me. Ugh. My tongue and tie. Um, the enemy came when there was first a need. He didn't come when Jesus was fresh out there. He waited till there was a natural need. He waited till there a hunger came. He waited till the natural part of him started to to act up. It started to, the flesh that he was wrapped in started to act up. Now, did he have? Did he? Could he get? You know, he's God, so he could have did whatever he, you know, stopped it off. But just like you say, he had to know who he was. Yes. 
He already knew who he was. Yes, yes. But it's, it brings back certain things to my mind about when, when, it, when the enemy comes in like a flood. And I can't quote it verbatim. It said the spirit of God will lift up a standard. Yes, yes. Now, but it, it will lift up a standard when, you, when it comes out of you. Mm -hmm. All right. You have to be it, what is it gonna lift up a I mean, he will encamp his angels around us, but do we we are we secure in knowing the angels are around us? Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. That's mm -hmm. right. So I mean, because you know, we say that some people say it because it sounds good in the in the in the prayer. You know what I mean? So, but do you really believe that the angels are around you or encamped around you? Then when you do get into those, you do, you come to that strong tactic of the enemy. And do when you get to that point, are you can you still be sober minded? Mm -hmm. That's right. Can he still pull you? In other words, you know how some people say knock you off your game. Can he still? Because you just said he can cut, he come mess with your identity. Yes. Because he had a lot of nerve to sit up there and say, if you be the son of God, you know who I am. You was there. Exactly. Yes, yes. What well, kicked you out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for him to come and question because of, there was a natural need that was supposed to overtake the spiritual at that point. But, you know, double craziness. He going to try everything. But here it is being sober minded. And when I looked up sober minded, it's being calm. Good rational thought. Making sure you you gotta keep you got when evangelist saw us, evangelist on say this often. I recall to my mind. Therefore, yes, yes. Therefore I, I have hope. So it's like sometimes, okay, when it comes, you get it, do you sit there and fold to it, or do you not remember that he just brought you out of something else? Mm -hmm. That's right. Right. And if he can deliver you out of that, he can do this. But here it is. Do you panic and do you fold? Right. Do you forget who you said you just see? Because over here you panic, but then when you got when you was in when you was at the church house, right. you were strong. That's it. Because you was around the saints. But when the enemy got you by yourself, did you fold? Right. That's it. That's it. Or did you remember who you were? Mm -hmm. That's it. Or did you, or did you, uh, or can you, did you hide the script, hide the word in your heart that you can speak it and he got to flee? Which one did you do? That's it. Mm -hmm. So when you're sober minded, these things come, these, the tactics of the enemy, you recognize it, but you also remember you got a weapon. Yes. All right. That's all right. It. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes. You also remember you got, you, we are in, in, uh, uh the whole armor of God. Some people, I have to say, some saints forget they got the armor on because they so, it's like they, they retreated and left the armor there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they left it laying on the ground. But, and then some of them get high. And like we said last week, they handle the sword by the blade. That's it, mom. Mm -hmm. They misuse the scripture. That ain't the scripture for that. And they just misuse it. So I'm being sober minded. It, it it really that's what brings you to remembering who you who you are in God, mm -hmm. and and it and it keeps you there. And being sober minded, it also keeps you to where you don't get caught in the middle of the tactics of the enemy. You are it, it, it said you while you praying you watchful. Sober minded keeps you watchful, to where you don't be in the middle of the tactic, and you can uh it'll keep you watchful till you see it coming. It heightens all your spiritual senses. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sober mind, it heightens all your spiritual senses. Where you be like, I smell you coming. Mm -hmm. I see you coming. I hear your voice. I hear you coming. Because I know that ain't God's voice. There you go. So sober minded, it really takes part in recognizing the taxes of the enemy. Yes, yes. yes. I, I love it. You know, I heard, I heard, uh, this early this morning when I was, I was walking, I heard, I heard a word this morning and it was talking about, and the man was talking about for us a sheep and, and he, and, and he had the pastor, uh, he told the pastor, pastor, I want to show you something for us, the sheep, how, how much they, uh, the sheep know his voice, you know, for, you know cause he, he wanted to, he wanted to uh, show that, show that scripture how really, you know, in, in 
reality how it really works. And the pastor said, okay, okay. And he gave the pastor how to, how to call the sheep, how to say this. Same thing he said, how to say it. And the pastor went ahead and he called, he called the sheep a certain way, just like he did. She just kept on eating. <laughs> Head down, just kept on eating. And as soon as the, as soon as the owner himself, he called, you know, he, he called the sheep. As soon as he called them, their head popped up, all of them. They, all their head popped up. They heard his voice. Mm. Glory to God. Glory to God. So that that is it, you know. And so, but the enemy, like you say, you you're right. Like you say, he would try to, you know, everything that everything that the Lord did, he would try to simulate, do the same Challenge. thing. Mm -hmm. He tried to copycat every single thing. Mm -hmm. But thank God, like you say that. But like I say, but like you know, that's why it pays us, like I say, to know the voice of the Lord. You know, what I'm saying. And so, but but like I said, you know, because the sheep know his voice, you know. Mm -hmm. And I love that because, like I said, because as soon as that man say, I, when he when he turned around and and, and said what he had to say, he said the same thing the pastor said, but they knew his voice. Glory to God. Glory to God. So yes, I love it. And sound. And you're absolutely right. Be sober. Be diligent. You know, because uh, you know, because that is that is it. Because of you know, even sober. When you think about sober. I like I say, sound minded. Like you, all the definitions you are, you already explain you know and that's it be village be watchful you know and that's it because he's because he's constantly going around you know for, uh, looking to any kind of way trying to find a crease in your armory trying to mm -hmm. find a place to attack you trying to find your favorite little whatever because he know that you like this and so he ain't coming he not gonna give you something that you don't like he'll find something that you do like so he try with every kind of way he can try to get it in so that way to take you down take you out that's the bottom line. So, but again, the thing is, is, is I love it because that is it. We have to be sober, be vigilant, because our adversary, because because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walking and seeking whom he may devour. Glory to God. I love it. And before, and toward the end of this verse, and see, we look in here and seeing again what Eve did earlier. The last time we pretty much went through it a little bit more extensively. For it's a less of the flesh, less of the eyes, part of life. And then we see in the remedy what Jesus is doing. Mm -hmm. He's given us an example what to do. And so we, we sound, and so it allows us to see that if he come to, to Jesus and start asking, you know, if you be, if die be the son of God, he know, like I say, he knew who Jesus was. He knows that you are a child of God. He see. He knows that you are. You are. You, when you get, he's. He know you up praying. He he see not just praying, but you also doing what you're saying. When the Lord, when the Lord has you do something, you're not just. You're not just walk. You're doing it. And we going. And this is what we're going to see for us uh, uh, as we go through this. This the end of this uh, scripture. Scripture. Got one more comment though. Before just, just real quick. It, I'm just just real quick. Uh, um, I was thinking when he mentioned about Eve, I said, Eve had a word too. She had the word. If she had to use the word that, 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 uh, even the word she knew, what God had said, when all the, the instructions that had been given, but the part she knew, if she had to use the word on the enemy, he wouldn't have been able to seduce her. If when he came and brought her the word and changed, you won't surely. Then if she had to come back and say, but he said, I won't. He said, I won't die. You use the insecurity. He used like Pastor was saying, he either going to get a strength or a weakness and try to use it against you and your identity. So when he changed the word or two, because she was wavering, period, and it took and magnified the waver. You know, so there is, she had a word, but she never used it. She, she didn't, she, it wasn't hidden in her heart. It wasn't a, a real to her because the lust started forming when he's telling her what she can be. And see, when you know your identity, as Pastor was saying, can't nobody come and, and rename you. They can't come and change it. They can't come and add when you already know what you got. Can't nobody come and tell you what you got. You already know your outcome. 
if God already promised you and gave you a promise and you believe the promise and somebody try to come along and tell you, well, that's not true, you can stand on it because you know in whom you believe. And I, I just thought of that because Evie, she had, you know, she could have said, if not as written, but God said, God said, and she could have used the word back on it. And I'm just, you know. Glory to God. I, that, that was just a, uh, just taking note of that. I thought I saw even someone's glory, hand. Glory, glory to God. And you know, I as as we know, uh, before I'm, I, I see mm -hmm. Evangelist's hand. Um, the end, just like same way he he came to her, and like I say, he for us knowing the word, and then turn around mixing a little lie with the word. So you got some truth and you have a lie. And that is what got the body of Christ so confused today, because there's you got you got some that get some give some truth in it, then you got some that get some that get some that that put their own self in it. Mm -hmm. And so the thing about it is that's why it pays. I thank God that when we go through the word that we're well, even our each one teach one because we're helping each other out. Because not only we're reading the word, but we're trying to get an understanding of what the word means, what the what the scripture is saying to us. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times, like I say, so that way when somebody comes different ways and try to change the word around, you but because we have got an understanding of what that scripture and context and everything what it means, now we able to say, No, that's not what was said. No, no. And one word or one or one one semicolon, one comma, every different certain things out of the wrong place can change everything. And so, so, but so here it is. He can, you know, you should surely die. So he little mix, mix a little a little truth and and then a lie all at the same time, and then and then have her thinking that oh no, you're okay, you know, you're okay. You be little gods. You be this. And so anything to mix in a little bit of the truth, a little bit of lie, get a get a person confused. And before you realize a person following, going down, following some other coat. And, be, and it's like, and we be saying, what happened? You know? And so thank God that we come together and we open up the word of God. Thank God for, like I said, for each one, teach one, because that way we all get an understanding of what the word is saying. And we, and then if, and if we can't find out, we will we are make sure we get the word of God. We will find out. Glory to God. If someone got a question, I ain't, I, I'm not, it's not, it's not about, oh, I, if I don't know, Lord, I don't know. But I can, I can find somebody who do know. Mm -hmm. And I make sure we get the word of God and the right context of what the word of God is saying. Glory to God. So we thank God for, for again, for allowing us to go through. And I'm sorry, Evangelist, I, I think she, was, she had a comment there. One comment. Evangelist Owens, listen. Oh, she is she muted. Mm -hmm. She muted. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Excuse Lord. me for in and out. My phone got overheated. Um, uh -oh. It just went out. So I'm on my laptop right now. So it's kind of fuzzy there. But I, I thank you all for the lesson, and I'm, it's amazing. And I'm hearing everything so good. This word of God is so real, and it's so now. It's always so now. Um, I'm looking at the fact that Jesus was actually led yes. of the spirit into a wilderness for the purpose of being tempted of the devil. Yes. Now, sometimes we say, Lord, you didn't mean for this, I know. You, you be blessed, you give me good. But it says he was led of the spirit into this situation for the primary purpose to be tempted. It's just amazing how the Lord, what we will call that something negative, a negative situation, but there was a purpose to that negative feeling and process, even though it was something our natural man would not like. But there was a purpose for the Holy Ghost leading him to the wilderness. He could have fasted around the house. But he was led to the wilderness by the spirit of the Holy Ghost, which is, is, is letting us know God would allow you to go to a dry place yes. to get your attention. Yes. This is Jesus himself in the flesh led to a dry place. And to, for just to be tempted of the devil. Yes. Now, now, that's like, wow. 
to be tempted. I want you here. I want you tempted. Mm -hmm. All right. Did you, did y'all, you, you know what I mean? And then during the duration of the temptation, we don't have the count of the struggles, the physical struggles or the mental struggles. After and when he had fasted, see, sometime when we've gone through, hey, I made it, y'all. Wow. But that's when it comes. All right. When we think we've accomplished something. That's it. That's it. And afterwards, he was hungry. Well, common sense, you've been fasting, so you're going to be hungry. Mm -hmm. And I'm noticing how the Lord, in his natural experiences, did not misuse his power. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's exactly He did not use the authority that he had to satisfy some something just for this this satisfaction. Oh, let me prove myself for what I am, who I am. No, that's not what this power is for. Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not getting on your level just to please you. I'm not getting on your level to meet your request. I'm God in the flesh. I'm Jesus. I'm the son of God. Well, if you be the son of God, first of all, that statement of law was supposed to send me. It's supposed to send me into doubt. But the bottom line is, how am I using my authority? Mm -hmm. Am I going to use it just because you want to know? Yeah. Am I using it because you want to tempt me to see if I know how to use my authority? No. I mean, I can call some angels down to wipe you out. But my authority, I'm not here on earth for that. Mm -hmm. That's it. Jesus came to seek and to save that which was lost, not to prove that. He is to the devil who already knew him. See, remember, the devil came from heaven. You know who I am. Them demons yeah. walked up. Them demons walked up. You know, when Jesus came off the boat after uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the storm on the sea, when they set sail and landed there, them demons were saying, Jesus, have you come, come to torment us before our time? They knew him. He already know him. So why are you trying to make me do something with you just to satisfy you? That's a misuse of authority. That's a misuse of power. Yes. Jesus recognized my power ain't for that. I'm not going to get offset to please you. Mm -hmm. That's what I notice here. He could have but he stay with the course. With the Paul course. said, I finished my course. There is a course. Focus. Yes. Yes. Stay focused. Stay, stay focused. Stay focused. You know what? And one, and one of the characteristics, one of the traits of, you know, there was, you know, for as a trace of Jesus is temperance, self-control. We talked about that partially last week, and it's going to come up again, so you know, bless him. But self you're absolutely right. Yeah. He could have did. He could have easily just said said what he'd done. He had all power, but like you said, he stayed focused and stayed with the course. He came. We and that's where he came for a reason, and he knew what the reason was. He knew what he had to do. He didn't get miss off off uh, off focus offline. This so that way he because and that's easy to do because when they end and you find yourself if you don't stay focused, you can find yourself. Going to the left when you should have been going, instead of instead of continuing on because the enemy starts doing and he's doing it for a reason same way he did Jesus same way he did he was hoping to take him off focus and so and I look I'm, 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 I see Pastor Paul uh, uh, his, his, his his he has a comment and I just wanted to say but when Evangel said led up you know I love that you know don't you how many times the Lord can allow us to go through situations. That we are being, that we are, that's the word we are being, um, you know, you know, for us, uh, buffet. You're being buffet, you know, and it's, and it, what it's doing is actually pushing into your, the enemy think is one thing, but actually it's pushing into your destiny. Mm -hmm. And so here it is, it, Jesus was led. And like I said, at times we go in through different situations, 
Or we like, oh my God, why we got to go through this? But then God can take that what we're going through and, and, and for the tests and the trials to bring us out of, because we have to go, we have to go through it. And before we realize it, we're like, oh, we don't, we don't see that. You might not see it while you're going through it. But then when you're able to see, oh, that's why you took me through it. And then able to, so now you're, so now you're, you had sometimes he allows situations or different things to buffet us, to make us even better and, and, and more, more faithful to him and, and the word. Uh, Pastor Paul, I'm sorry, you got a comment there. I told you last time, don't apologize. <laughs> no. <gotta> apologize. <laughs> Just keep talking. The more you talk, the more I get. Oh, all right. <laughs> Just, I, I'm, I'm just piggybacking. I'm a piggyback, and I ain't gonna go deep. I'm just gonna piggyback uh, because Evangelist Owens grabbed the first thing I wanted to say was that Jesus was led. Yes, yes, yes. Some of us don't want to be led. <laughs> right, that's right. Mm -hmm. that's so true. The songwriter said, lead me, mm -hmm. guide me. Yes. Sometimes the leading is the preparation of a trial. Right. Yes, yes. He got to get you prepared for what you are about to endure. Mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Paul said that the working uh, uh, in Romans, he said, now faith worketh patience and patience, hope. Some of these things that God had to take you through is working something out in you. Yes, yes, yes. But if you ain't paying attention to him leading you, you ain't going to go. That's it, yeah. You're going to be like the children of Israel walking around in the wilderness <laughs> for 40 years. <laughs> but, but if you understand, now watch this. He led them. But the scripture says now he is going to make a way of an escape. Yes. He ain't going to put you in a predicament that he ain't going to bring you out of. That's right. That's right. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Even the devil got to get permission. That, that's the first thing. We got to understand that the, if we go through anything, that that enemy had to get permission from God mm -hmm. to even touch us or to even try us. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. So that's why he said, in all things, give thanks. Yes. For this is the will of God concerning this is why you can thank him because if it had not been for God, right, that's right. Yes, yes, yes. Then she said, then and then uh uh I I I I like this part. I like this part. This I thought she was gonna preach on it. Uh the misuse of authority. She 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 just she want to behave tonight, I guess. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but the misuse of authority. Now, now, y'all, y'all forgive me, but it's so many people misusing their authority in the church. And you wonder why the anointing ain't nowhere near. It's because you misusing the authority that God put in the house. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that, that's a point that we have to get in our spirit and in our mind. We are pastors. We are evangelists. We are deacons. We are ushers. But God has a certain anointing that he put in the house mm -hmm. yes. so that when you step in your position, that anointing carries you in the position that God already set you in. That's it. That's it. That's, it. That's, That's the it. truth. Yes. 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 
You don't know how to be a pastor. You don't know how to be a deacon. You don't know how to be an evangelist. You definitely don't know how to be a doorkeeper. So you have to allow the anointing to carry out the assignment that he is putting in you to carry out. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. Amen. Amen. So to misuse your authority Mm -hmm. Is to spit on the anointing that's in the house. Ooh. Oh, my God. oh my God. Jesus. Jesus. Because now you telling God, yeah, I, I'm doing it my way. You you don't know what you're doing. I'm doing it my way. Mm -hmm. So you spitting in the face of God who have set up the house. Which is a dangerous thing because then you you forgetting about he don't really need you. It's a privilege that he even use you. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say this last part, Pastor. You you said forty days and forty nights. Some of us can't even go a day with being tempted. Y'all forgive me. We can't go a day. We, we we don't like nobody lying on us. I know I didn't. I, I, I know I didn't used to like it. It used to burn me up and make me want to fight. You're lying on me. Mm. And then you say you saved too. Then I really want to hurt you. Ooh, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I'm just gonna be honest. I really wanted to hurt you because I just wanted to beat that demon out of you. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. But I learned something. God Daddy took me up in the office. He said, when we get up here, you keep your mouth closed. Mm -hmm. And the things that was being said in that office on that Sunday that I came, I had to swallow it. Okay. And at the end, I wanted to say something. And God Daddy turned around and said, well, what we're going to do is we're going to let y'all do what y'all have to do. Wherever the ball falls, the ball falls. And when everything is clear, God going to reward and God's going to judge. Wow. And I, God knows I wanted to tell them all they was lying. God knows. I, <laughs> God knows I wanted to. But because daddy told me to keep my mouth closed. Lord, yes. I went in hurt. Yes. But I came out rejoicing. Yeah, that's it. That's, yes, yes. Because God met me. Oh, God. Yes, yes. And He shielded me from what was being said. Yes. Because He knew that if I couldn't take the ones that I love yes, mm -hmm. yeah, that's it. and take what they were saying about me. There was no way in the world I can make it against people that I don't know. That's right. That is the truth. That's the truth. If you can't swallow what they say about you and you know they love you, but they are, they're, they're not using their authority correctly and you can't swallow and still love them in spite of, mm -hmm. how can you minister to them that don't know you? Mm -hmm. And I have to swallow it. That's the truth. But when I walked out, I promise you, I was at so much peace. The joy of God was, and God daddy said, let's go eat. I said, yes, sir, let's go eat. Let's go have a good time. <laughs> because I knew God had took care of it. My God, my God. David said I was wounded in my own house. Yes, yes he did. Some things we we have to remember. 
40 days and 40 nights, that fasting is in preparation, not always to just be fasting. Sometimes God can ask you to go on a fast because what you're about to go through, you're going to need some fasting. You're going to need some strength. Well, I, I just thought about that. She, 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 she said afterwards. There that word again. Afterwards, <laughs> the the afterward. There's an effect afterwards. <laughs> oh God, let me leave that alone. Crazy. Uh oh, oh, oh. You know, you 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 struck a nerve on that. One. <laughs> You struck a nerve. You struck a nerve on the afterward. Okay. Now, 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 you struck a nerve. But I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, you know, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna be good like, like Evangelist Owens. Uh, uh, but I, 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 when you said, when you were saying how it was all in you to just, you was just ready. You wanted to say something, but because of the obedience, that's what I just wanted to make note of. It was through the obedience. It was after you obeyed, then you got your victory. After you obeyed, you didn't know what to expect on sitting there and, and just being obedient. He said, oh, he said, be quiet, but in me, you probably had words just rolling out. Just yes, Lord. <laughs> just words, I mean, all in you. But he said, don't say nothing, and I ain't. I'm going to do it, God, because he said, don't, I'm going to be obedient. And God honored the obedience. And after you obeyed, then you received what God had. You didn't know that that was coming. You didn't know what was going to happen. You, you understand what I'm saying? Because sometimes you can, a, a, after a, 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 a thing like that, you can walk out and say, oh, no, 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 I got something for him. You can still be in that place. I, I, I got you. I got something for you. Yes, man. You understand what I'm saying? But afterwards, ah, because your heart wanted to be right. Your soul said, I'm going to do this. But see, any, even though we, we have an act of obedience, don't mean that it's good to this flesh. It feels good to the flesh. The flesh is struggling sometimes to, to line up to that obedience. <laughs> Because we're saying that I'm going to bring this flesh that's, under subjection and you going to sit here and be quiet. Then after, yeah. hallelujah, I, 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 I love that. See, all of this was after and I, I, I did get that. See, Jesus was doing an a illustrated sermon and a uh. lesson. Because he wanted us to know what would Jesus do. So therefore, the spirit said, okay, I got a lesson. Because I need everything you're doing, you've been an example for the ones coming later. So let's give them a, 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 a visual lesson. Let's do this. Because, you know, Jesus had the victory already. You know, we already just stated that. But we're going to have a visual lesson. Because I want them to see what, the, what it looks like for the flesh to bring into alignment to a, the flesh to be obedient. You understand what I'm saying? Regardless on what it feels, regardless on what it's tempted to do, flesh got to line up with the Holy Ghost. It has to line up. And I love that you, you struck a nerve on the after. Oh, Jesus Christ. After a good fast, after, and then and guess what? Fast, fast, and, and the thing is, the harder the fast seemed like, it, it's the, it, 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 and, and I don't even want to say the hard to fast. Sometimes you can fast and it's like, oh yeah, I want to do that. You know, some, some fast you just, because sometimes God will just put you on one and you just right. like, right. Okay, right. Like, stop right now and do this. That's right. Tell you what kind of fast you on right now. You know, uh, okay, nah, uh, uh, shut it down right now. And I've been and had the cup of coffee already. And he said, uh-uh, right now, shut it down. And you got to just shut down, shut down. God will put you on a fast sometimes. He, but that's a leg thing. I am a shot. Because he knows what's coming down the pipe. And after. And, and I. Ah, yeah, yeah, shut up. There's a. a, a I know. Shut up. 
have to understand. And then I was taught this. And I was taught that after they went on a fast, people have consecrated themselves. See, that's that's the part when you start questioning that after you done done all this consecrating and after you done went on a fast, and I done seen it too many times, after you done fasted and you come up, oh, I done fasted, ooh, I really did. And the best you can talk about is the weight loss. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh Lord. Okay. The best you can talk about is that cleaned me out. Mm-hmm. See, there, there, now, there is a diet that's intermittent fasting and is good for your system. Fasting is good for your system. Yes. But we're talking about the, 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 the focus. What, are, what kind of fast are you fasting? So let's get that straight. See, so I'm not going to knock the healthy fasting. I'm not knocking that. I'm not knocking that. But if you're telling me I'm consecrating before God, my biggest thought process should not be how much weight I've lost. And so I've seen people that consecrate, consecrate, and they come out with a weight loss because I've seen it. We know somebody that is periodically just going these big, long fasts and mean it. And God do something, but after and sober, you see the anointing. You know that she's been with God. You know that there is something. She done met God. She done been in a place with God. And yet she lost weight. But guess what wasn't the focus? The focus wasn't the weight loss. The focus was what, okay, God, now I can hear you. Now I'm free to move in you. Now tell me what, what, I, I'm, I'm hearing you. I'm listening. That is what happens. After, after you done done all that consecrating, there should be some anointing. There should be some sign that you've been with Jesus after all the consecrating. And guess what? You may not feel it while you're going through it. It may be just as dry and you still at the end saying, God, what was that for? What was that for? But I'm guaranteed it's going to show up after. After. So we got to be mindful of what's our after and what do our after looks like. I think I think you've been this on hand and then Pastor it, Paul. Praise <laughs> God. Praise God. Woo. I always want to read this scripture because the after is, 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 is we on that after. That after was potent and powerful right there. Mm. Uh, uh, um, you, if you on a fast that the Lord puts you on, consecrated fast, you will not be the same. If you just withdrawn from food, you know, anytime you are drawn away from your own lust, whatever, you'll be tempted. So we're not talking about that. We really do have to make that clear because when you fast in unto the Lord, when you want something from God, you are not going to be in the same place you were when you started. Mm-hmm. That's just that's just cause and effect, stimulus and response. Mm-hmm. It's just the way it is. That is the result. It says, "Whom re- I'm reading first, uh, just a couple of verses of First Peter five and nine. Whom resisted steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions that were were the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that were accomplished in the world. See, we're gonna meet Jesus' of acquaintances mm-hmm. when we walk in with him, and he was acquainted with grief." Mm. That's one of his acquaintances. He was acquainted with rejection. Mm-hmm. He was acquainted with fasting and going without. This, when you're walking with somebody, you tend to meet their acquaintances. Mm-hmm. But the God of grace, who had called us unto his, un, in, unto his eternal glory by Jesus Christ, that after... Jesus, that after that ye have suffered a while, mm-hmm. make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. That's the 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 the, the uh, uh, state we should be in after. Mm. After that, it says after that. Ye have suffered a while. That's whatever that suffering consists of. Make you 
We don't want to be made. No, but it's make you here. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Make you perfect. It, it, it says establish, strengthen, settle you. All of those, all of those listed. All it comes after. All the after. All the after. All the after. All the after. Yes, yes. Bless yes. God. I think Glory it was Pastor God. Paul. Glory and I see Evangelist Clark, but Pastor Paul. <clears throat> Clark had her hand up before me. You did. You there? Your phone is, is off. Your, there you go. Praise the Lord. The point it has already passed. I was I was I was gonna piggyback off when we were talking about the after. But the how many times have we in our in our flesh did we feel we had to defend ourselves? Right. When somebody was saying something about us, Pastor Paul had all, that's why I was saying that point had passed because when Pastor Paul was, was talking about being up there and he had to be quiet and thinking about when when the Lord was in the, uh, uh, when Jesus was in the wilderness and when the devil came and said, "If ye be the Son of God," now first of all, who don't nobody? It's almost like being called out your name almost. It's almost like being pulled back. Like you, I don't have to defend who I am. Cause mm -hmm. had I start had, it, I'm just paraphrasing now. It had had I had had I had to had I started defending who I was, getting caught up in defending who I was would have caused me to make those stones bread. Yes, yes. So the thing is, how many times have, uh, uh, we? We got kind of because somebody came and questioned who we were or questioned. We say, well, you say you're supposed to be saved and da-da-da-da-da. So you feel you have to prove that you saved. Mm. Because you just, you because you didn't got caught up. You didn't got caught up because you did you got on focus. You were sober minded. You 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 just got off. It, it took it took you way off because all you heard was that, uh uh, he trying to say I ain't saved. <laughs> and trust me, I didn't see nothing. That's why you ain't saved. If you were saved this way, you would have done it out of you would have said this. You would have you honey take say you don't do it. and you feel you gotta defend and try to convince them that you are saved. Yes. That's not what we have to do. Because that's why when Paul when Pastor Paul came out out of his obedience, that's how he was able to rejoice. Because right. he didn't have to defend. Not to defend. Right. Yeah, right. He didn't have to defend. And I'm thinking back when we were in our Sunday school lesson, when uh uh, uh when uh Lady Tasha she said if we if we let the if we allow it, the spirit when we pray in the spirit to tell us how to respond. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It'll let us know what our response ought to be before we open our mouth. Yes, yes. And if it says don't say nothing. We don't say nothing. <laughs> but the thing is, people get caught up in, I got to prove I'm saved. I got to prove this. I mean, too many times I've seen that they got to prove they saved. They got some some people go and pray for somebody who already been prayed for. So and then they and then they speak in tongue, I try to call themselves speaking in tongue all over to prove they're prophet, to prove they this, to prove that I don't have to prove that. I don't have to, the fact that you trying to make me prove it, you see something already. So th <laughs> that tells me right there. So I shouldn't, I should be so easily intrigued to, intrigued to try to prove that. God said, live it. He said, let your light. Why we, he didn't say make it shine. He said, let. So to sit to, to when somebody trying to get you off, get you off course or get your mind, they first get by attacking your identity. Once you get caught up in trying to prove your identity, you gonna start walking and trying to do the other stuff. Yes, which yes. takes you all the way in there, because then that's when the fighting starts, Paul. <laughs> that's, that's when the fighting starts. That's it. That's so it. then if somebody be to say something like, "What? Now you say I'm lying?" Yeah. You went in already. Then. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's it. But that's it. That's it. That's what. That, and that's, <laughs> 
And that is what the enemy wants. He wants you. He, he put the bait out there hoping you bite. Yes, that's He's hoping it. You He's hoping you bite. He's hoping you hoping bite. You bite. And, 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 and that's the thing is, when you don't bite, thank God. Like they say, you get the, you you got get God the gets the glory, and at the same time, you get the victory. You know, so, you know, thank God. Uh, oh, I think, I, I think we have Pastor one more. Pastor Paul, one more comment from Pastor Paul. Yeah, well, uh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, unmute. Yeah, yeah. There, you go. there you go. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. There, there's two things that I gotta grab, and I can't, I can't leave this, because if we leave this, we in trouble. Pastor said earlier that the young man was telling his pastor about the sheep and the shepherd. Mm -hmm. And the pastor, he told him to call out to the ship, the sheep, and, the, and you know, but they heard the shepherd, yes. and their head picked up. Mm -hmm. watch, watch this now. How much training are you doing with your spirit that your spirit can know the voice of God? Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. We, we know the scripture, my sheep know my voice, mm -hmm. and a stranger they won't. But you can't learn the voice of God without coming to Bible study, without coming to Sunday school, without coming to you, you prayer meeting. You need to train your spirit to learn the voice of God. Mm -hmm. Just because you got the Holy Ghost don't mean that you know the voice of God. You have to train your spirit to learn how God mm -hmm. speaks. Yes, mm -hmm. glory to God. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. God has a certain way that he speaks. And if you ain't training your spirit, how are you going to hear him say, come my people? Amen, amen. You still gonna be in that grave. I gotta get up on the first resurrection. I ain't trying to wait for no other. I gotta hear him say, No, Lord, no, 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 no. I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. Now, now, what the, the, the second part was this. Now, now watch this. Uh, Zena, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> she said, she said. Afterwards, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. now watch this. It said, Did you say that? I think, Lady P, I think we all been saying out. <laughs> I, I'm gonna show you why I'm gonna get you. <laughs> <laughs> said, Afterwards, the afterwards came, and when it afterwards. You was able to say it is written. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yes, yes. That's the now I'm using the authority of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. I'm accessing the authority that the Holy Ghost gave me to speak what God said. It is written. Right now. And what was written? This is the written part. Oh, here it go. This is the written part. After you have suffered a while. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Uh, you, you can't get some things without the suffering. After you have suffered a while, it is now written that you shall be made perfect. It is written that you shall be established. It is written that you shall have strength. It is written that you shall be established. This thing is written because you have suffered. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. It was led. You didn't complain. The, Paul said, we are led as sheep to the slaughter. I was led to this thing because the end result is that God is going to get the glory. The end result is that God is going to get the praise because it is written. That's it. Glory to God. Yes, yes, yes. That's it. Y'all blame Evangelist Owens for that one. It is written. That's it. That's it. 
So I don't have a complaint being tested and tried because it's written that I'm, I'm more than a conqueror. It is written that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. It is written that I am the head and not the tail. I'm, I'm the lender, not the borrower. It is written that money shall come my way. It is written that I don't have to beg. I don't have, Lord have mercy, I'm gonna leave that alone. It is written. Glory to God. Yes. yes. But if I don't never want to go through, yes. how am I going to get to the afterwards? That's it. I got to be willing to go through, go through. so that I can. <laughs> There's some things that He's going to give me for my afterwards. Yes. But if I'm not willing to go through, I'm not going to get it. That's it. That's it. Ooh, Lord. Ooh. I got to, I, 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 when she was reading the scripture, I said, Lord, you telling us to suffer a while. Uh, 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 a while can be a while. <laughs> but even while I'm going through, you still establishing me. You, you, you still making me, you still, you, you still doing some things so that when I come out, there's nothing nobody can say or do to shake my confidence in God. Glory to God. That's it. My, my testimony. Oh my, let, go ahead, Pastor. I'm done. I'm going to leave that alone. No, no, no. I don't know. We love it. Now you ain't helping us. That, no, we love it. That's and that is it when you, like I said, when you're suffering and he, and like you said, when you suffer, he's making you. And, and you know, and a lot of, like I said, because if we don't go through anything, how can we be made? It's, it's, the, it's the suffering that's going through that's making us that's, and it's and heading us to our, to our destiny at the same time. You know, and, and, but that's, but, but, but going through, you know, the suffering, but, at, but after, after, glory to God, after, you know, you don't see it when you're going through it. Yeah, but but it's being but you're being made and is and like I said and it's, and it's, uh, and God is getting the glory out of it all at the same time. So I love it and I love it. It is written because that's where we because that's where we were heading. That's exactly it. It says, but He answered and said, "It is written." <laughs> glory to God. Everything and this is what we're. It says, "Men shall not live by bread alone, but what." but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. And the word is written, <laughs> glory to God. So everything that we need is written, <laughs> glory to God. So I love it, that's, and that's, that's exactly, and we're gonna, and, and, this is, and this is what we, thank God we have a chance to see the remedy. God has given, God has given us a remedy allowing us to be able to see for when we are led and as we are suffer as we're going through but but at the same time like i say we're we're we could be being made but afterwards glory mm -hmm. to god glory to god hallelujah we're gonna we, we're gonna come through as pure gold glory mm -hmm. to god mm -hmm. hallelujah my god my god so it's it's worth so it's worth it to go through glory to yes, god yes it's, yes it's worth it um Did you have her hand up? Yes, I just wanted to, before Pastor P lead that point, Lady P sings this song, On the Other Side of Through. Yes, yes. And you sing the song too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I know what you just did. I, I, don't, really, I, don't, I don't know, but I'm... I'm saying it goes with this this we message. Have the bloopers all night, but <laughs> <laughs> and also and also the song that goes with this too, uh, evangelist song is "Take Me to That Place." <laughs> I didn't want to say wanna, that. Just want to add that point before well, you leave. The flesh will oh. obey. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I can hear you. But I, see, I didn't want to say that one. Mm. And you then, know. Talking about what we're talking about tonight. I don't know if you've heard that with Pastor Paul. You probably have most likely. Take me to that place where the flesh will obey. Take oh, me. Well, I can hear your voice. It's talking about that sheep knowing, yeah. knowing the voice of God too. 
Oh, Take yeah. That place where I can hear your voice. Oh, Take yeah. That place where the flesh will obey. That, that's that's lady not a song Ford. I talk about that much. That, that's Lady Four's song. Is Take it? me to that place? Yes, ma'am. Oh, my. Okay. All right, Lady Four. That, that, Gotta hear it. That's, that's her song. I'm just trying to get her to sing it for me. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Vanjie right. Zorn does a good rendition. <laughs> I'm telling you that after y'all, y'all. Yeah, yeah. You can't, you can't get past the after. That's it. <laughs> you know, I heard about after parties too. <laughs> Yes. Um, I didn't get to go. <laughs> but I, heard, I, say, I was wondering what you had to just hear because you didn't go. <laughs> see, 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 you just brought up something. Yeah, you heard of the after party. <laughs> <laughs> so and see, see we don't want to get 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 caught up with hearing about what happens after and never Amen. <laughs> It's about the experience. Glory to God. The after party, you had to experience it because a lot of times the after party was better than the first party because the first party prepared you for the after party. You was in party mode by the time you got to the after party. Okay? You didn't find too many people going to the after party and not, and not you know, ready to party because the first party prepared you for the after party. It got you ready. It got you in the mode. It got you in the atmosphere. So by the time you got to the after party, you ready and nobody's stopping you then. So that's the same thing. Oh, my God. I'm drunk. <laughs> the experience of the after. You don't want nobody to tell you. <laughs> Jesus but, but you know what? You know what? There's, 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 there's something else is that too many. It's a lot of people that are they are they don't want to suffer. Mm, and right. I no nobody nobody likes the the flesh don't like it. Period. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we're talking about what comes after. Mm -hmm. But we got so many people that, you know, there's some people that say fake, you know, this is this is one walk you can't fake it till you make it, because you ain't gonna make it if you fake it. Woo. Amen. That's right. it. That's it. So That's the thing the thing is, you got so many people they want they they come with these the uh um I remember uh listening to a a, C, a CD of Bishop um uh, oh, uh, oh, it was from the Apostolic Archives of Bishop Golden. And he was talking about the saint, uh, the new saints, when they come in, they get saved, and they, they get on fire, they get saved, because they're glad about what they got, but they're not learning how to apply what they got. They're not getting, they're not sitting and getting their feet in and getting rooted and grounded. So they keep coming with these fiery testimonies because they see how the church react and be shouting or whatever, so they get stuck in that mode of the shout and, and and like it's all shouting and this and that and the other but people got to live when they walk outside those church doors Ooh, so then, when they get caught up in the, the testimony oh i want a testimony i want a testimony you start knowing when they really got a testimony mm -hmm. because they seek move closer to the back <laughs> and their testimonies are few but when they testify, they're longer because now they got something to testify about. That's it. <laughs> I have, when you testify, you got the Holy Ghost, you better get it out because you just, hey, and I ain't going to keep going on that because everybody can recall. Because when you recall, you can't help but bubble up. So we're going to leave that part alone. Hello. So, but when... As you go on, and people, we got to know to grow. You got to pain comes. There are growing pains. Yes, yes. We cannot be scared of the growing pains of of the spiritual walk. It has to be. He, Pastor Paul, already said it. It is written. We got to suffer. But you got so many people trying to skip stuff. You can't skip this and go straight to the anointing. The anointing that may be on your life, but you got to know how to handle this thing. 
How you going to learn how to handle it if you never come and counter with some stuff to be able to call on it, to be able to use it, to be able to exercise it? You, this walk comes with exercise. If the stronger, the more you exercise this walk, the stronger you get. Mm -hmm. If you don't, guess what? You walking around a weak saint. I ain't scared to tell you. You walking around as a weak saint. When you scared to go through, you don't want to go through. You don't want to feel nothing. You don't want your flesh to feel nothing. You can't take nobody telling you nothing. You can't take no correction. And you can't, that's, that's love when somebody can correct you and so you don't go to hell. Yes. Already but if you can't take that, you are not growing in God. Already you will stay a weak saint until you are able to take correction. Until you are able to walk in, like mama used to say, plumb that line. Yes, this is real. Yes. Suffering is real. Yes. So when saints stand up and say how they went through whatever, don't just sit there and wait to the end to shout with them. Pray for them because they think sometimes they testify why they go through. Mm -hmm. yes, Glory to God. Because faith is taking them through. They ain't losing their identity. They know who they are and they focus because they know what the end result going to be because they're standing on the promises of God. But yet and still they fight because the flesh don't want to obey. The flesh don't want to come under subjection. But each time they got to go through, it goes deeper. They feet, get, they feet and they, it goes in deeper in God. Mm -hmm. But that's a fight. Mm -hmm. That ain't just a shout. Mm -hmm. It ain't just running around that church. It ain't just this joyful, joyful. Oh, so jo it ain't that joy comes after. There's after. They go to afterward There's again. After. Mm -hmm. So we got that that part I really want to say because we got too many people that want to skip the part that is written. You can't skip it. You now that's the scary part. If you hear what I said, they want to skip the part that is written. Now, how many parts is written? The whole book. Read the fine print too. <laughs> they want to skip a whole they want to skip. All the major parts of living holy, mm -hmm. the requirements, Perfect. the steps to repent. They want to skip up. He love, he's a loving God. He's a this. He know my heart. He not, yeah, he going to know your heart all the way while you going to hell. He knew your heart. Glory to God. I love it. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. And and it and I, Lady P got a comment, but I just want to say this. I I, I love it when I'm here. Blame that on Pastor Paul. <laughs> I love it. I love it. But all that is, here it is. Jesus himself was led up of the spirit into the wilderness to go through. To go through. To go through. Wilderness is a place where nobody really wants to be. There's nothing <laughs> any wilderness is but he was led of the spirit into the wilderness and to be tempted of the devil. A place that's desert, a place that's no life, places and he yet after when he came after he fasted 40 days and 40 nights. After when he came out. Glory to God. My God, my God. Mm. So 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 I love it because you're absolutely right. He was led. The suffering was coming. Yes. He had to suffer it a while. Glory yes. to God. Hallelujah. Mm. And that's, and I love that, we, you know, we on one script. Thank God. You know what I'm saying? But this is it. This is, <laughs> and he's our perfect example. And this is what we got mm. to be able to get. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory to God. Every, all the steps are right in this scripture. In this one scripture. In the one scripture. Glory to God. And we Praise and God. we barely touched the bottom of it, <laughs> <laughs> but it's written. He gave. That's it. That's <laughs> but it's it. written. And and uh, Lady P got a comment that we're gonna. He gave, well, based with uh, what Pastor P said, he gave you the remedy remedy at the beginning. So he said you're gonna go through some more stuff, but here's the remedy. So so keep remembering the remedy. But I was just thinking, you know, just real quick, God is is. We have a, a lot of fluff out there. There's a lot of fluff, and there's a lot of people telling you, 
uh, that God is good and a lot of people telling you that, okay, come on, we all Christian and God is going to answer your prayer. Sure. God is going to be there. And, you know, and it, and it, 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 and, 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 you know, we, we as teachers and, and preachers and stuff, sometimes we want to come out and just say, I just want to give some nice stuff today. You know what I'm saying? And, and let the people say, yeah, you know, ooh, you know what I'm saying? But God is, there is, uh, 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 this thing is so real and it's so serious until God is trying to get us to see the seriousness of living holy, the seriousness of growing in him and the seriousness of taking and getting this flesh under subjection. We can tell you that God is going to bring you through and God is going to take you through and God is going to bring you out and, and let's praise your way out. Let's shout, you know, shout our way out and all this kind of stuff because you hear a lot of that. You so much, you know, music and let's just praise God. But God is now kind of citing us to music a little bit so that you can learn how to walk this walk and live this walk. This is the real part of it. This is the real part of it. That's what the uh, Bible class is for. And this is what he's trying to teach us, that you are going to suffer and go through. But after that, he wants us to make it. So therefore, if he keep giving us milk and cookies, then we're not going to be able to chew on some hard stuff. And the hard stuff is the real stuff. The milk and the cookies is not the real stuff. That's the fluff. And, and God, we, we cannot make it on fluff. We know the love of God. This is still the love of God. As, as parents, when you're raising your children, you sometimes, you got to tell them a hard word. You got to give them some hard love because they got to get up and be productive citizens and be able to take care of themselves through this throughout their lives. And if you don't equip them because you didn't give them fluff, because you know they love cotton candy, so you just gonna fill their diet with cotton candy. That's not gonna make it. I gotta tell you to eat your vegetables. And then I gotta make you eat them. Somewhere along the line, that, that becomes the reality so your bones can be strong and not brittle. And this is what God is leading us to doing is learning the hard stuff. We got to learn the hard stuff. We got to learn the challenging stuff because we got to get up and get out of here. But before he comes for us to get up and get out of here, we got to make it. We got to be able to take it in this life, on this side of heaven, because we got to make it to the other side of through. And he's trying to get us to be ready to just get to the other side of through. But this thing is real, saints. It's not fluff. It's not, it's not all fluff. I see Pastor Paul's hand. Then we get Pastor Paul, glory to God. Listen, I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna say this and, and, and then we're gonna let y'all go. Uh, she said this is real. Yes, yes. This is not fluff. I, I'm gonna use her words. So if y'all wanna blame somebody, y'all. Lady P is on the hook now. <laughs> Look what he says. Man shall not live by bread alone. That's the fluff. That's, that's, that's the fluff. That's religion. That's religion. That, that's, that's not sound doctrine. Mm -hmm. That's that's telling you uh uh it's man, man. Uh, that's going to, God understand, God loves you anyway. Mm -hmm. It's all right. You can keep doing that. That's the flub. That, that's the man shall not live by bread alone. That's that part. But the real, mm. the real part. Yes. Mm -hmm. By every word. Yes. Mm -hmm. By every word. This is what we are living by. The word. That's the real part. That proceeded out of the mouth of God. Word. 
need the word because yeah. the word is going to prepare me. The yeah. word is going to correct me. The yeah. word is going to fix me. Yeah. The word is going to settle me. Yeah. The word is going to establish me. This I is the real it. part. That's, That's the That's real, real part. part. Word. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm tired of I'm tired of this lukewarm popcorn. Man shall not live by bread alone. That ain't that ain't, that ain't fixing my spirit. That's that's telling me, hey man, we 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 talk about these people all the time. Hey man, these uh uh what do they call them? Uh oh my god. Uh Lord, maybe he took it away from her. I don't say it. Amen to God. Amen. <laughs> These non-denomination. Amen. They allow them to do anything and still think they holy. They allow them to go out and do anything and think they righteous. They, they could go smoke and drink and still come in the church. Amen. And just want to act like they say. That's, that's the man stuff. But when the word of God comes, it makes me come subject. Amen. It helps me to take off my flesh. It helps me to crucify my flesh. It tells me not to enter into the ungodly. Amen. It tells me. Oh, God, help me. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The real part. The real part. Every word. Yes. The real part. I'm living by every word. Yeah. I, I, Got to continue to eat the word because every word that he's saying is he it is producing something in me. It's helping me to oh God help me. Yes. Ooh. Hallelujah. Yes. The real word. The real part. The real word. That's it. The real part. Mm, the oh. real part. Mm. My wife tell me. My <laughs> wife tell me all the time. She say in church. She said, "Give me the ouch. Don't don't." Don't don't skip the ouch. I need the ouch. Oh. That that ouch is gonna correct me. It's gonna make me do what I need to do. It's gonna get me where I need. I I I am not gonna make it because I'm married to the pastor. I need the ouch so it can correct me. So I meet him in peace. I gotta make this thing by myself. Yes, yes. See, individual, God. individual. My God, my mm -hmm. God. Give me the out. Give me the out. Don't sugarcoat because I'm living by every word. Yes, mm. yes. My spirit is living by every word. Yes. The real word that is coming out of the mouth of God. Jesus. If God speaks, my spirit don't have a problem submitting because it's already knowing it's coming from God. That's why Paul said, my war, the war is against the flesh, the spirit wars against the flesh and the flesh against the spirit because there's not, th these things, this thing is, this thing don't want to die, y'all. That's right. That's right. That's it. Glory to God. Well, give me the real word. It'll kill this. Oh, the real word. It'll, it'll make me understand how to... Uh, y'all blame Lady P. I'm done. I'm, I'm shutting up. Oh, Lord. No, no. No, no. We need to hear that. That's it. No, we thank God. Thank you. Thank God, Pastor Paul, for the word of God. Thank God for what we hear. This is this is what this is what we come to Bible class for. This is it. This is, we come to get sound. We what, what that word we were talking about earlier? Be sober, be vigilant, you know, and sober is like sound minded and sound. We that's what we want. We want to be sound, sound and be vigilant, mm -hmm. be watchful. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. So so no, that's, and this is what it's helping us to be. be you know, so mm -hmm. oh Lord, I, we we thank God. Pastor Paul, we yeah, we yeah, we Lord, we know we is after nine. <laughs> that means after twelve there. So. <laughs> but we thank God for you. Thank God for, for the word, you know, for the lesson. I don't have a I, I don't never have a problem having church. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. If it was something else, I'd be like uh I, I'd have sent that message it's past twelve o'clock. <laughs> but when it came down to having some church. 
Yeah. I'm just loving it. I'm just loving it. He can hear. I'm God. loving it. I'm loving it. Oh look, my God. Look what God's doing. Look what God, look at yeah. look at them. Oh. And, and we hear him with his mouth. Glory to God. Glory to God. We thank God for all that was said. Mm. Oh, That's a praise right there. Praise break. Glory mm. to God. I feel a Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you. Glory to God. Glory to God. So again, we thank God. Uh, I, 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 uh, thank God for each and every one tonight. We're gonna stop here, and and um, and we just got a few, a few, a little bit. But you know, and this is I thank God. This is what we want to do. We want to get get an understanding. Glory to God of what the word, and we're seeing for us a difference from what Eve and from Jesus and what, but we know that the Lord God himself was our perfect example. Oh Lord. <laughs> okay. Lord Jesus. She's on video. That's, she yeah, can that's all right. That's all right. Let it go. I'm, I'm downstairs so I can hear. <laughs> praise break. Oh, yes. She's doing her own praise break. Praise break. Oh, yeah. We are enjoying. Yes. We enjoy watching the miracle. Hallelujah. And he can hear the words that we saying. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He can hear the words. And we talked about the sheep hear my voice. Yes. He literally can hear it. Yes. Hey. <laughs> see, see, we, we're not forgetting. We're yeah. not forgetting. We know what we prayed for. Glory, Glory to God. We know what we prayed for. Glory. So we're not Thank surprised. I, I, oh God, we know what we pray for. And we, these miracles, these kind of miracles, don't come from fluff. Nah, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. They don't come from fluff. Mm -mm. That comes from living something. Ooh. That comes from living something. That means your prayers can reach heaven. That mm -mm. comes from living something. Okay. I'm just, but when you got when you sold out, you a walking miracle anyway. Yeah, if you don't see that many people, you don't see everybody sold out. Mm -mm. That's right. Glory to God, he's all in. That's it. I am now. Ooh. I love so, it. I love it. So I, I, I understand. Yes. We just letting the pastor in. Glory to God. No, no, we can't. No, that's it. <laughs> that's, 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 let it, let it go. <laughs> no, we not. No, no, we not gonna stop. <laughs> we, this is no. We won't. We won't. This is. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. So we thank God, so we thank God for, what, for what he's doing. What and she doing. all on the video. <laughs> I know. Oh, Lord. That's all right. Glory to God. Thank God. Again, one more time. Thank God for you being with us one more time. Thank God. Um, glory to God. At this time, uh, like I said, we, we are we'll turning over for our announcements, and then we're going to be dismiss but thank god for the lesson thank god for each and every one announcements okay <laughs> praise god for you <laughs> praise god for for everyone that's on the line and for our our wonderful pre-recorded fellowship that was just oh, a lot of fun and we just we just enjoy each other's company and 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 i just love it and i will send y'all the video so you can see what I'm sending to Pastor Michael <laughs> as to the final cut, you know. But um, don't forget, on Sunday, we will be at the church. Yes. We will be at the church on yes. Sunday. We will still, I'll still try to have Zoom open. Y'all know it's trial and error. I'm still trying to have the Zoom open and things like that. Sunday school will be around the 930 mark. And then service starts at 11. So we still do the Sunday school and then break in order to get Sunday morning um, started. So we will be in the parking lot and everyone can drive their cars in and you can have service in your car. You can step outside of your car, but we will be honoring the social distancing and different things like that and your mask. So we will still be doing that. But we're expecting a good time, even though, you know, it's something new. God still shows up. Yes. The Zoom is new, but God still shows up. So we're still expecting a word from the Lord and a blessing and anointing to be 
feel the, the yard, feel the outside, touch somebody's heart across the fence, touch somebody's heart that's listening. That's our expectation. So you pray for us. As, as we pray for you in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Again, we, we thank God for each and every one that's on Zoom, the conference line. Thank God for the word of God tonight. Thank God for our lessons, you know, allowing us to break down the word of God and get an understanding of what thus says the Lord. So we thank God for each and every one. And if there's nothing else, we're going to go ahead and, and, and be dismissed. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you, O Lord. We thank you for, for the lesson tonight, O Lord. We thank you, O Lord, for the for allowing us to be able to open up the word of God, O Lord, to be able to get an understanding of what does says the Lord. Lord God, thank you, O Lord, for being an example for us all, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, O Lord, for going, not only being led by the Spirit, O Lord, but allowing them to fast and to pray, O Lord, hallelujah, and O Lord, allowing them to go through, O Lord. We thank you, O Lord, for, for allowing us to be able to recognize our, our identity and who we are, O Lord. So many things in the scripture that you allow us to be able to see to, by, by you being the perfect example, O oh Lord, and then allow us to be able to see, O oh Lord, that it is written. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the yeah. word of God that keeps us, the word of God that saves us, the word of God that delivers us. And we thank you for the thank word, O oh Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. So we thank you, O oh Lord, and we thank you for the after. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. For what you have took us through and allowed us to go through, but the after, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. That we come out as pure gold. Oh God, we thank you for each and one. Continue, O oh Lord, to, to cover each and every one with your blood, Lord. Continue to look over all our kids, O oh Lord, one by one. Continue, O oh Lord, to cover them, strengthen them, and direct them, O oh Lord. Continue to bring them back to the household of the Lord, O oh Lord. Oh God, we thank you for all each and every one that's on Zoom and everyone that's, that's affiliated with us and everyone that hears us. And here's our voice, O oh Lord, in the name. We ask you to look over them, cover them, O oh Lord, protect them, or oh, shield them, O oh Lord, save them, O oh Lord, deliver, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. In Jesus' name, we say amen and amen. amen. Glory.